Hi, it's Anna Yarnfolk, and I'm just demonstrating a couple of things related to knitting the mended plaid cowl by Jamie Lomax. This cowl is a tube. Um, it begins with a provisional cast on, which will be grafted to the end of the piece, making a nice double thick warm cowl. And what I am doing here, normally we would knit with the outside of the work facing us, all the guts would be inside. Um, Jamie does recommend not catching your floats in this particular pattern. And so what I'm doing instead to just lengthen those a little bit is pushing the cowl through and I'm still looking at the right side of the work while I'm knitting it, but the floats are on the outside instead of on the inside, and that is just elongating them ever so slightly. The second thing I wanted to demonstrate is um, the two color seed stitch. As is always the case when I'm knitting, uh, stranded knitting of any variety is I always carry, I, I do uh, two-handed two color knitting and I carry the contrast color in my left hand. What that accomplishes is it always keeps it below the main color and um, it's, it's not as prominent when it's seat stitch in play, but in um, stockinette, stranded knitting, what that does is it makes the, the contrast color bump forward a little bit. It, it's a little more, it, call it color, it's called color dominance. Um, and it just makes that, whatever the image or graphic motif that you're executing just jumps out from the fabric a little bit. So with the seed stitch, it's kind of fun um, because I'm going to be combining uh, knitting with my right hand and purling with my left. So I'm primarily an English style knitter, but when I'm doing two color, two handed knitting, I use both. So this first stitch is a knit and then I'm going to bring my contrast forward and purl, knit, contrast forward and purl, knit, and purl. Um, every once in a while, um, I will fail to move that yarn to the back before I knit the next stitch. Kind of the nice thing there is that um, if you do wind up with a strand over your needle, it's really easy on the next pass to just drop that back behind. So just a couple of small details on this project. Um, I'm using the BC Garn Lock Lomond and I'm really pleased with the very autumnal vibes that this color combination is putting out there. Happy knitting.